this is the bracket that I made up to hold the CP3, the extra CP3 pump. It uses the same mounting points as the old power steering pump that used to go in its place, except it is a little bit further out, um, so that there's a little bit more tension on the belt, but I think we can handle that. This is the old cog wheel that I showed you. Um, from inside in the engine, the actual cog from this pump um, originally, you can, we machined off the, the teeth off it. Uh, just to be able to get it through the hole so we can take off the pump without having to take off the front cog wheel because we have radiators and stuff in the way so um, that's that's it um, machine down we made this we machined this right down as well so that we centered a pulley on it basically so that bolts on something like that and we have our PCD as well for our bolts so there it just bolts up if you can see it at all um, so now, problem is we're doing the Drift Games Tour tomorrow. So I had to go and make a little other Delrin insert to go back into there again because we did widen this. We did widen the, oh, we'll turn it down. We did widen the hole in this so it'll center up on our uh, power steering pump again for tomorrow. And we can kind of see that going in there. So yeah, we need to get this car back up and running again for tomorrow. The mounting points for the CP3 are exactly where the old power steering pump was. So there and there. And uh, yeah, that's the, the old mountain bracket for the pulley. So, right. And guess what? It's in! <laughs> Look at it! Dual CP3 pumps. That's the old power steering pump left out there out of the way just for the moment. But the belt goes on. It lines up pretty much perfect. I am fairly happy with that. Need to get the electronics and done now um, because obviously like nothing's happening here. We have the Drift Games Tour, tomorrow, and that all has to come out again. <laughs> so, yeah, at least it works. So, this um, adapter at the moment is just made out of plastic, Delrin. Uh, just to prove that it works, it's a cheap material that we're able to modify very easily. So, I'm going to remake it out of aluminium, and that should be the final piece. Awesome. Dual fuel pumps for next year. This is going to be mental horsepower. Cannot fucking wait to test it out like. Anyway, I have work to do. After doing a bit of power washing and I discovered a bit of an issue, if you can see it. Yeah, that's not good. That's um, what I would describe as fucked. So I've had to go and get another one and get ready for tomorrow. But got it. Need to put it back in now and uh, yeah, I also cleaned up the mank in the front of the engine that I discovered the last day, so that's that sorted, but yeah, yeah, the, the antics continue. So it turns out the little bit of an incident I had below in Cork actually did a little bit of damage. Front of the intercooler isn't looking as healthy either, um, it's all kind of dinted up, but sick. Anyway, I have to go and sort that out over Christmas. I better put this rad back on and get going for tomorrow. Drift Games Tour! Drift Games Tour! I found Nelly again! Welcome uh, to Galway! <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a nose bee coming over the border. Go into Galway either! So, and yeah. It's not raining! Yeah, well, it's in Galway! Uh, <laughs> really uh, good day here, yeah. Good yeah. fun. Uh, how'd you do in the freestyle? I have no idea. I think I came second, I'm not sure. But like, the football. That right. was... That was I've never enjoyed football as much. Yeah, it's, it's the best way football should be played. I did get a goal, but only because they put the ball here and the goal here. So it uh, kind of you had no option but to get a goal once you hit the ball at all. But good and fun, and uh, yeah, I hit the goal post. So what well, did you? Almost. And then Alan, of course, Alan Lachlan scores. So. <laughs> as he does. Yeah. But um, yeah, good fun here. Looking forward to uh, the rest of the antics in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. What, what and, are we playing next? Uh, are we doing the drift party? Oh, cool. Yeah, so a big stack of tires <laughs> to hit your car off. <laughs> it, it may not be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> as, as evidence on the door. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Dash and Daddy, you want to tip next weekend? I don't know. Yeah, just as you can see, it's been so much fun. It's like, it's been fun. Maybe I should, you know. It's a great way of uh, getting rid of all the excess tires. <laughs> <laughs> getting rid of the horrible set of tires at the car. You just had the old ones, that's yeah, 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 yeah. so <laughs> that They're getting dead oh, yeah. today. <laughs> Never using them ever again. <laughs> I can't say the same as that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 
So, but, uh, awesome crack. There's, there's some crowd around, so. Massive crowd, yeah. They're all poking around. Oh my god, it's Diesel! <laughs> no! <laughs> we were just laughing when for the passion spin. We were saying he was going to get a two hour lecture on how the diesel engine works <laughs> and the fuel pumps that have to go on it, the amount of torque holes, all that kind of stuff. Because we know Kevin does like talking about diesel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. So, what, what else? Like, yeah. yeah. But I feel a little bit outnumbered. Everyone has an S chassis. Yes. Except me. And Patrick. <laughs> Except you. <laughs> well, I've gotten used to that bit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like a massive amount of S bodies, and it's like, mm, I feel the odd one out. Uh, do, do you feel like you need one? Is that it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. we better keep going and uh, try and get ready. Nathan is just blah 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's it. Get a bit. And no one's even listening to him. He's still going. <laughs> Great crack, that yeah. cones. Definitely yeah. heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely, because like the, the off season is fairly long. So. Yeah. But geez, we'll there's some here next weekend to get in the road. <laughs> <laughs> no people to put it out. Oh, that was serious crack. That in the football is definitely the best two events for me today. Yeah, yeah. But there's some. Oh yeah, it's fairly like it was running out of fuel earlier on. It's like it, because it's so slow and getting a little bit of fuel starvation. But other than that, sorry. keep it that is. So next weekend to get in the Right, that's the last of the 2018 drifting done for me. Moving on to 2019, we have to get the car ready now for next year. And with the plans I have, I need to get this done. I've picked up Connacht 4x4 as a sponsor for next year. And they've given me a spare engine, a spare turbo, and another spare turbo, just, you know, because. I've told them my mental ideas of going twin turbos, and they have said, yeah, we'll give it to you, no problem. So, that is yet to be worked on, but I have the parts now, I can do it. The twin fuel pump setup, I've been working on as well. I've already fitted this, it works. Now I need to go and make an aluminium one, the final approach, because I left too much clearance on this, and it's really only a test piece to make sure that we weren't wasting our time. So, go and do that now. So that's the old plastic bit, that's no good anymore. The new aluminium one is made, mounted to the pump, and we're going to fit it in the next couple of days in instead of the power steering pulley. Power steering pulley, um, using the original power steering pulley and dumping the old pump off and piping in a new pump somewhere over in this lovely area over here that's low the space. Turbocharger side of things, this is the plan for the twin turbo setup. It's basically going to be one turbo ran off the back three cylinders, one turbo ran off the front three. Completely pure twin turbo. I know the 335D has a twin sequential where you have one small turbo, one big turbo, and it switches between them. My ECU does not control that, and whereas I can control the variable geometry with the electronic actuators, and I can duplicate this signal up onto the second turbo. So for me, that's no problem, I can do that. But it's going to be a challenge to get both of these turbos to spool. Basically, I'm halving the amount of exhaust gases that are available to spool in that turbo. 
So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. It's going to take me a little bit of a while on a dyno afterwards to get that dialed in and get that power being built. I think we do have enough exhaust volume to be able to do it. It could be a little bit uh, challenging, but you know, we're always up for a challenge. Anyway, before we do any of that, I'm going to take all this out again. I have to get this car down to Stiv's, Stiv my Pearson MD tuning, and basically give it a run on the dyno, see what it is right now before I have changed anything. So I have a baseline of where to start and what we need to be able to achieve after I have all the changes done. And that'll basically show us whether it was a success or not. Anyway, better go. A bit of work to do tomorrow. remember standard fuel pump and yes 380 horsepower 700 foot pounds of torque that's about what 950 newton meters oh that yeah and this is the first diesel that's we ever been on Steve's I know <laughs> it has been one or two more but we try not to tell anybody <laughs> it's definitely the most torquey diesel that's ever been on the dyno anyway well um, so this, this is fucking I'm um, just now the next thing we have the pre-curve, we need to get the fuel pumps and the turbos up to this again and more when we finish it. So, back to the workshop, more work to do. With diesel power. <laughs>